Hey everyone, and welcome to group break number 94. Today we have a nice little mixer uh, featuring some 20, uh, 2020, 2021 series one hobby and 2020, 2021 uh, artifacts hobbies. So six boxes of the series one, five boxes of the artifacts, half case of each really fun mixer. Last time we did this, uh, it was pretty good. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and swap on over to the random here. Uh, just a couple of notes for the break tonight uh as a heads up like just audio wise i uh we had fire alarm testing in my building today so uh it should be over but there is like it should have been over a while ago but there was one random alarm like half an hour 45 minutes ago so um it's just like a couple short little bursts in case you hear them uh but yeah it shouldn't be it shouldn't be an issue uh and then finally uh with artifacts uh all the like roman numeral and like rep or the retro rookies and then the um wild card redemptions will go to the team on the checklist so yeah anyways let's get underway with the random here so we'll do three times on the names three times on the teams and good luck here we go once twice and thrice names and teams three times once twice and third time is the charm uh, Detroit on the bottom st. Louis on top here we go good luck everybody William Putt, you've got the St. Louis Blues. Mark with the Buffalo Sabres. Brody with the Calgary Flames. Robert, you got the Montreal Canadiens. Brendan with the Carolina Hurricanes. Ken with the Minnesota Wild. Mike, you've got the New Jersey Devils. Holly with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Daniel with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Aaron, you got the Colorado Avalanche. Probably one of the most consistent teams, to be honest. Uh, David, you've got the Anaheim Ducks. Holly, you've got the Rangers. That's probably who you want to have, so... Uh, Gabriel with the Nashville Predators. That's Gabriel General. Uh, Mark, you've got the Winnipeg Jets. Kerry with the Ottawa Senators. Gabriel Sue with the Vegas Golden Knights. Mike Taverner with the Boston Bruins. William Childs with the Chicago Blackhawks. Laurent with the Washington Capitals. Ben, you've got the Philadelphia Flyers. Aaron, uh, that's Aaron Kerr with the Florida Panthers. Brayden, you've got the Dallas Stars. Marcel, you've got the Pittsburgh Penguins. Brennan with the Arizona Coyotes. Kyle with the LA Kings. Martin with the Leafs. Bill with the Islanders. Ryan with the Sharks. Brent, you've got the Canucks. And William Childs, you've got the Oilers and Red Wings. So I will go ahead and get the team set up here. Um, I just realized, or the, the display thing set up here. Uh, I just realized that uh, it might not pop up correctly at first, so uh, just because I don't think I changed it from basketball, so uh, take half a second there. But all right, where is? Oh, no, I just want to save this. Make sure the names match up. Um, St. Louis, New York, and Tampa. Uh, yep, perfect. All right. TV final. PG NHL. Yes. All right. Yeah, it's uh, it's still on basketball. Don't worry. It's a, uh, it's a really old photo because it has the hockey mixer in it. Um, let me update this properly. Ah, it's better. <laughs> that's, that's more like it. So, uh, yeah, there's the team. So, uh, give a couple minutes for trades here. Uh, time is it? 510. So, we'll give it to 513 if no one's, uh, no one's really commenting. But, yeah, uh, working through the Series 2 checklist, like, early impressions are that the team that you're going to want to have in that break is Chicago. Like, the most consistent team is going to be Chicago. Um, obviously, they won't have the highest selling young guns, but they have a few really solid ones. Um, I think uh, 
Hagel will probably go up a little bit in value. Lankinen's been just insane for them. Uh, but they've got, I think, six total young guns on the checklist. And, like, just insane. Um, like, one of the best top to bottom. Like, just quantity and quality. So, uh, but yeah. So, one more minute. Just to allow, I don't think we have any trades going on. But, um, just to allow for some people to get some trades. So, yeah. What else was there? Um... The rookie materials, they announced the groupings on them. Laughs of group B. Like, so all the rookies and rookie materials are group B, except for three. There's three group A's. Those are Cousins for Buffalo, Kaprizov, uh, Kaprizov for the Wild, and Sorokin for the Islanders. So uh, those ones will be a little bit tougher to hit. And the biggest, honestly, the biggest note from Series 2 is no laugh dual materials, which is kind of interesting. But um, yeah, doesn't look like we're going to have any traction on trade. So we will start off with. A good old-fashioned box of series one. Uh, we'll go series one through to uh, artifacts, then series one, then series one, then or no, then series one, then artifacts, and series one, then artifacts. So go back and forth. Let me move my garbage can to the proper spot. All right. I think we've only had one trade ever, so. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit tougher, too, because um, you don't know quite ever Like, I know some of your Twitch names. Obviously, Mark, no, yours. Um, Robert, no, yours. But uh, just for the trades, you have to have the email confirmation, too, just to make sure everything lines up. Nice little box. Tear in there. All right. Oh, there's, like, weird, there's weird stuff on the pack. So uh, here we... Go again. All uh, let's stack the packs better. There we go. Um, like every like all the young guns get shipped in individual pop loaders and sleeves. Um, but yeah, hopefully we hit like something sick, and let's get started. I don't think we might be due for some French young guns. I think. And well, speak of the devil for the San Jose Sharks here. We'll go to full screen here. Uh, Ryan, right out of the gate, and Alexander True, French young guns. Right out of the gate, we got ourselves our first uh, first young gun variation. And I think all but one of these boxes, I think, is probably from the uh, back half of the last case. So, um, yeah. Uh, just because I think we had one random box in a mixer, so should be should be a pretty good mix, though, or pretty like pretty solid overall. Uh, predominant of Patrick Kane for Chicago. Base on the rest. Yeah, next pack. Yeah, these packs are better than OPG, but still not the biggest fan. Uh, another Young Guns, Morgan Geeky for the Carolina Hurricanes. He had a couple goals. We got a uh, base card stuck to the back. I'm going to move the base cards a little bit further out of the way here. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I, I hope we get some six stuff tonight. Um, obviously, I don't think we'll get two laughs because, you know, we had two in the first half. But one one extra would be nice. Uh, Zook for the wild on the portraits. Yeah, it's going to be a fun year hockey card wise Um... It looks like Series 2 Hobby is still slated to come out on the 24th. I think Retail got bumped back to the 7th along with Black Diamond. So, um, in terms of product releases. So, next major product is going to be the good old-fashioned uh, Series 2, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, debut dates of Samsonov for the Capitals. So, uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting because I think it'll be the first time where... In, a, in like group break history essentially where you're really looking forward to getting the Minnesota Wild. So that's mainly what I'm looking forward to. Is Adina for the Red Wings on the canvas? Because like think about it. What year have you ever been excited about getting the Minnesota Wild in a group break? Like the only year that's even close I think is 2013-14 because you had Dumba, Brodeen, and a couple others. But yeah, uh... Definitely going to be fun and interesting there. 
Uh, nice. Uh, I think that's a clear cut of Malkin there for Pittsburgh. Uh, it is worth noting that it looks like the corner's got... I don't know if that's just paper on it or if it's a chip. Oh, it's just paper on it. All right. Clear cut of Malkin for the Penguins. We'll put that in the uh, Young Gun stack there. Really like the clear cut design this year too. It's super, super nice. All right, uh, well, base cards are sticking together already. It's a little thorough base. Uh, debut dates of Mario Ferraro for the Sharks. That nice little, the nice little crack out of the cards. Uh, again, just all base in there. Portraits of Ovechkin for the Capitals. Here. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird that the cards are sticking together already because it hasn't been like, it hasn't been that long. Like this came out in November, so they shouldn't be that bad, but there we go. Sorry, I just need to slide my garbage can. A little bit here. Uh, Quinn Hughes, rookie retrospective for the Canucks. They're another team that's solid in this. I think Dallas in the first half just crushed it with just quantity. Same with the Canucks. The Canucks did really well. I think they ended up with like five young guns. Dallas had like six and a canvas or something like that. It was pretty crazy. Uh, that is uh, Jaden Schwartz for the Blues on the canvas. And last pack of the first half here. It's a pretty solid first half. Uh, one young gun French variation. Uh, one good young gun and geeky. Like, I think he'll be solid. He won't be, like, the most highly valued player, but he'll be a solid player. Um, just get this base card up. That's just the checklist. And Korshkov for the Leafs on the other young guns. So, and a clear cut in that. So not like, not the strongest, but also at the same time, like still solid. French young guns are generally, I mean, you'd rather get that than the French, you know, uh, base cards, but unless it's McDavid, obviously there's always the exception to the rule. Uh, Grubauer for the Avalanche on the worldwide. I like those cards too. They're, uh, Especially the die cuts. The die cuts are really nice. So, uh, Dazzlers of Sveshnikov for the Hurricanes. There we go. Let's see a day with the cup flashback. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Norris for the Senators. That's another solid young gun. Norris for the Senators. The irony that he can't win the Norris Trophy because he's a forward. I mean, he could switch out of Brent Burns, but I don't know if that'd be the best decision. Foodie for Columbus on the rookie portraits. There's going to be a lot of those in, uh, in Series 2. That'll be some fun. Another young gun coming up here. Uh, Kratzoff for the Rangers. Kratzoff for the Rangers. Player, really good KHL numbers in North America hasn't been great, but I think there are some usage issues with them too, and obviously adapting to the new systems and you know international ice in North American can always be tough. Uh, Marchand for the Bruins on the canvas. It's not a group break without a Marchand. That's what we say, right? got such like a cheeky smile too uh young gun or young gun sorry canvas of seth jones young guns of seth jones we're opening up a different year uh what do we got here uh carter hart predominant for the flyers of philadelphia Packs left, two packs left, four packs left, so yeah. There we go. Uh ooh, uh variation of Ryan O'Reilly for the blues on the uh 
street clothes variation is what they're kind of been dubbed essentially free gamers we'll see that one up yeah i like that the variations are really easy to pick out this year between the french and the um the suit variations it's better than last year's photo variations where you literally have to have the checklist up by a mile uh wool for the leafs on the young guns wonder where he sits in their uh pipeline now they just made a trade today they traded Lettman, who i think it's probably still going to be a fine defenseman to columbus for venny vanilainen i'm probably butchering his name but nelson for the islanders on the portraits uh vanilainen was a uh like really really good stats in liga and the finnish league and had a good world juniors um so like really solid track record hasn't quite carried over here but still like you know decent prospect uh zamula for the flyers on the final young gun so pretty strong box there do we get an extra young gun i think so one two three four five six yeah the french variations extra so uh solid box one let me just go ahead and get the base out of the way here uh, and to make a new goal for all the series one base there we go uh the best young guns card going is crosby um like psa 10 crosby is your best young gun and i don't think it's particularly close so uh, is this all series one? Okay, this is all series one. Perfect. So, uh, after that, um, honestly, maybe Ovechkin and McDavid. Uh, but McDavid's definitely climbed a lot. Dry Sidle's up there. Patronac's one that's pretty, uh, pretty solid, so. Alright, here we go. Next box, Artifacts. empty um let's slide these up here these here there we go all right is this gonna be the hit side this is the hit side all right so we'll save the hit side for the last and off the back emerald of mark stone for vegas to 99 Mark Stone for Vegas to 99. Oh, that's the hit side, right? Gotta go to the left side. Left side should be three parallels and, or I guess just normally four parallels, one being a rookie. Typically is what we see. Uh, Legend of Koivu for the Habs, 299. Copper Legend. Next up. Uh, I will show you in one second. After this box, I'll pull up the team list again. Holly, I think you, you got the Rangers and the Lightning, though. So, two pretty good teams. Wills are grim for the Leafs to $9.99 on the rookie. Obviously, we've had, we've had some pretty heavy laps stuff lately. So, And I think a bonus hit. Yeah, two-hit pack here. Uh, geeky for the Hurricanes on the jersey to five ninety nine, and Ovechkin for the Capitals to two ninety nine on the copper. So, uh, extra hit there, nice. I think at least, unless um, you know we don't have one less. We have one less on this side, but all right. We got an Orum of Bennington for the Blues. Again, these cards are going to have chipping. Um, they're very nice, but they chip really easily. Bennington for the Blues on the Orum. They don't really show up well on camera, but like in person, very, very nice looking cards. We got an Emerald Redemption coming up for Chicago. So this will be numbered to 99 on the Rookie Redemption there. I think that's Pui Suter, I want to say. Um, gut Instinct, at least. Yeah, it's Pui Suter for, for Chicago. Next up. Uh, looks like a jersey card. Uh, Max Domi for the Arizona Coyotes on the Threads of Time jersey. And last pack, 
Ooh, we got a patch. That's what we like to see. It's a, it's a, I think a just base patch though. So no stars or legends, but maybe. Ah, uh, quick for the Kings to 65 on the Jersey patch. So not a bad one there for LA. Not bad. Whenever you get a patch, you're always a little bit happy, right? So, all right. Base out of the way. I love how like the series one and artifacts kind of hit stacks are equal after uh, like if you take out the young guns essentially. Mind you, even then it's probably equal with the patch in there. So, yeah, probably pretty equal in terms of size of stuff. Quantity, it's obviously series one, but Oh, and team view. There we go. Alright. Empty. Alright. Uh, let's switch back over here. Yeah, the packs are leaving a really weird, like, residue on, uh, or the boxes are leaving a really weird, like, just print residue there, so... Uh, I'm just gonna pull up the names again. There we go. And uh, canvas of Kuznetsov for the Capitals. Kuznetsov canvas for the Capitals. Next up, uh, Jason Robertson for the Stars. Honestly, really, really good player. Uh, probably will go up in value over time. I think some people are starting to realize that he's good. So he had four assists in a game recently. I think he's at 13 points in 16 games played. Dallas is struggling, but he's looking like a very, very strong player. So that is always good to see. Uh, French variation of James Neal for the Oilers. He was kind of a one guy that I made sure I picked up an exclusive young gun at release of, and I'm very happy I did. Uh, Dobson debut dates for the Islanders. I think I got his exclusives base canvas. I don't think I got a clear cut. I think I got his French variation as well. But portraits of Shabbat for the Senators. Oh, I'd love to see a fanimation too. I haven't pulled one. We've opened up a lot of series one and series two. And we have not pulled a Fanimation yet, so that would be nice. Maybe one day we will, right? Uh, Nick Suzuki on the Rookie Retrospective for the Habs. I think that's the first time I've called up the Habs today. We got a jersey card coming up here. What's it going to be? Uh, Tarasenko for the Blues. Not a horrible one. It's back in the lineup now for St. Louis. St. Louis got a couple cards early. Uh, normally one of the, uh, I wouldn't say, I'd say a little bit on the weaker side just because I don't have a rookie. At least that I can remember in this. Uh, predominant of Pashnak for the Bruins. But I mean, hey, you got a base variation and jersey card already. So definitely a good start. Uh, Yossi for the Predators. On the portraits, I just realized I'm putting these in the wrong stack. There we go. Not that it really matters because they all get sort of the same, but I just like to sort artifacts and uh, which one call it series one separately. Uh, worldwide of Lundquist for the Rangers, yeah, for the Rangers. Uh, soft edges on that one, just as a heads up. I'm just making sure they didn't hit them on the capitals yet. I don't think they did. Uh, Young Guns Canvas of Delandria for the Dallas Stars. Dallas continues to be really good. Yeah, I mean, like, I think the Blues have some, like, half-decent artifact stuff, um, like, uh, legends and stuff, so. Uh, Carlson for Chicago on the Young Guns. All right, first half, eh. I'd say like about average, nothing fancy. 
Velarde for the Kings. That's solid. Obviously, at the start of the year, was one of the best players to kind of... One of the big players, I would say. Uh, Tuca for the Bruins on the portraits. Wrong tile. Next up, we've got ourselves a Peyton Krebs Young Gun for the Vegas Golden Knights. Honestly, probably a good player to pick up now while he's in the WHL because I think he's going to be really good for Vegas. Vegas is going to continue to be a relevant team, and they've got a pretty decent market base as well. So um, wouldn't be shocked if he takes off next year. And they're definitely going to need cheap players, so he has that major advantage. Yandel for the Panthers on the canvas. I forget what he's at now, but I think he's actually he's dipped a little bit just because he's not playing, right? He's not in the news all the time, so you don't hear about them as much. Uh, Giroud for the Flyers on the predominance. On pile, there we go. Uh, Dazzlers of Carter Hart for the Flyers. I actually really like that subset. That was a really nice subset. They did a really good job insert-wise with Series 1 this year. I wish there were a couple more in retail. Like, they brought a couple from Hobby to retail. Just because, you know, Series 1 retail versus Series 2 retail. You'd rather have Series 2. Ooh, we got an autograph. Teddy Bluger for the Penguins. That's a, that's a nice little bonus there. Uh, who had the Penguins? Marcel. I think it's your first time in a break with us. Welcome. Obviously not the biggest name, but still solid. Again, love the design of this stuff, The, the especially the signatures this year. Some years the design of these isn't like the best, but this year they're really nice. They definitely have like a bit more of a premium feel to it. The entire set does this year, it feels like, so. Uh, for the Oilers, Ryan McLeod on the Young Guns. Yeah, uh, solid box, jersey card, autograph, uh, decent Young Guns. Honestly, pretty solid box for not hitting like a laugh or a Byron. Uh, Robertson Rookies, rookie portraits. Because I think you got Robertson Krebs and Velarde in this uh, box, which are, I'd say, three of the top ten Young Guns from the set. Uh, Zega Doolin for the Flames. And two packs to go here. Uh, for the San Jose Sharks, Carlson on the canvas. That's a really cool photo. And last one. So yeah, really solid box overall. Um, good young guns. Good parallels, autograph, jersey card, pretty solid. Ovechkin Worldwide for the Capitals. All right. Oh. Throw up the uh, team viewer here. Slide that base in. All right, that base just kind of fell in. Perfect. On to artifacts. Um, what are we gonna say in this box? We had a patch. Let's say a rookie auto, rookie jersey auto here, and rookie jersey auto and an aqua parallel. That's my called shot. Rookie redemption. I'm gonna go with. It'll be. I mean, the obvious bet is bet Chicago, but. I'm gonna say our rookie redemption is gonna be a it's gonna be a New Jersey Devils player. All right, here we go. Uh, every time I start off with one side, it ends up being the hit side. So we're gonna start off on the left and see if we uh, continue that trend. We got an emerald. 
of Kublik for Chicago to 99. Kublik for Chicago. We got a Sapphire. These are actually one of my more favorite parallels. Petrangelo for the Blues. Go back to full screen here. Petrangelo for the Blues there. Uh, this side. And two base on the back this time. Marner for the Leafs on the copper to two ninety nine. The copper stars. Again, if you're wondering what the difference in the background colors are, um, green is the stars, so they are only in numbered parallels. Uh, like the gray is the legends, and then the kind of like this regular color is the quote unquote base base. Velarde for the Kings on the rookie. Uh, this one is definitely miscut. So just as a heads up for LA to nine ninety nine. Uh, that is a common problem on the base rookies from Artifacts this year, so. All right, let's hope for another patch though, but I'm gonna say a rookie rookie jersey auto. Oh, I think we have a parallel box here. Uh, Kachuk for the Flames is 75 on the orange. Actually, we had, an, we had one extra hit, so maybe not. Could be balancing out from the other box, but. Uh, nope, it's looking like we have a parallel box here. So, uh, Flurry to two ninety nine for Vegas. Uh -huh. And next up, rookie of Cout for the Avs to nine ninety nine. Okay, this is this box. Um, what time is this? Thirty one. I'll, just, I'll open up the last pack, then I'll write on it, but uh, just so I know which box it is and when I contact Upper Deck about that. So, and when stuff comes in, we'll uh, get it sorted out. Uh, Carlson for the Sharks to two ninety nine on the copper. So that box didn't have any of our hits. Um, no hits. Uh, GB number 94 and about the 30 minute mark. There we go. All right, that one gets set to a different place. Okay, well, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, I mean, like there's still something in every pack at least, but obviously, you know, not having the hits and stuff is a little bit frustrating, so. Uh, switch. There we go. So contact up deck. So I haven't heard anything on the last one. I'm just gonna follow up on that one and um, see where we're at. But um, yeah, they generally do make good. So um, yeah, it is it is a problem with artifacts this year. I mean, like our one box had an extra hit. Um, Obviously, I wrote that down there, and if, if we do have another box out of here that has the extra hits, um, so I think we're, we're minus three in terms of hits, so we're minus a rookie redemption and um, like two other hits, because we got an extra jersey card. So um, if we make that up in these boxes, obviously, then it's kind of, I'd say it's kind of even, so. All right, starting off. Young Guns Checklist for the Rangers of Lavin Kratzoff. Not a bad one. Obviously, Young Guns Checklist, you always kind of hope to dodge, but. Uh -huh. French variation of Barkov for the Panthers. Barkov for the Panthers on the French variation. Yeah, they were quiet in the first half, so makes sense that we're getting some Panthers cards here. I'd say the Rangers should be quiet, but they're just so consistent that they won't be. Uh, Natchez for the Hurricanes on the Rookie Retrospective. Um, Kyle Connor for the Jets on the Canvas. Uh, 
upside down base card. Uh, Hellebuck for the Jets on the portraits. Nice Nick Dowd base card. Glad to see him getting some love. Uh, met him once. We were actually, um, my girlfriend and I went to a Canucks game, and that was her first Canucks game, I think. Um, pre move for the Habs on the debut dates. And it was, um, whatchamacallit? They, we got the jersey off the back, and it was Nick Dowd. So. Eichel Dazzlers for the Sabres. But yeah, seems like a very, very nice guy. So uh, doing well in Washington too. So happy to see that. Larmy for the Penguins. Oh, yeah, that jersey's literally hanging up on the other side of this wall. It's funny because they come out and they're all nice and sweaty and give you the jersey and you're really happy about it. Uh, Huberto for the Panthers on the predominant. Yeah, I know. I mean, I I probably won't go to a game for a little bit after just because, you know, precautions and all. But Matthews for the Leafs. But it, it will be nice once, you know, vaccines get rolled out and everything that we'll be able to go back to games. And yeah. Another Young Guns, that's a, ooh, I accidentally put the Larmy in the, uh, we'll address that at the end here. Uh, McMichael for the Capitals, nice one there. On the Young Guns, we'll address this. There we go. Those go there, that goes there, okay. I think we got all three on this side for once. Huberto for the Panthers on the canvas. Again, they are really quiet in the first half. So, uh, actual other interesting note about Series 2 is that there are no Vancouver Canucks canvas cards on the checklist. Every other team has three. There's two teams with technically three and a half because they have the they share the checklist. But, oh, oh, I got psyched out. Oh, I got psyched out. I saw the A, I saw the Alex, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, no way. But, I mean, hey, clear-cut young gun of Alex True for the Sharks. Oh, I got psyched out so hard there. <laughs> you see the Alex and you're just like, wait, that's not laugh. But, I mean, hey, might be a member of the uh, Kraken, but uh, who's got San Jose? Ryan, you got uh, the clear-cut and his French variation, so you're going to get yourself a uh, pretty good little rainbow started there. All you need is the high gloss, the uh, exclusives, clear cut, and then the uh, the base. And I don't know if he has a canvas or not. Uh, Joe Thornton for the Sharks on the predominant. That is the other weird part of going through the Series 2 checklist is that there's a program of excellence card of Thornton. And it's like my brain was just wired to put in Sharks and I had to like fight it to put in the Leafs. Uh, foodie for Columbus. So yeah, another solid box series one here. Honestly, we've been kind of crushing series one lately, so. Uh, Braden Shen for the Blues on the portraits. Oh, I thought that was the laugh clear cut though. That would have been real nice. Hey, we can still hold out for the laugh exclusives, right? That's allowed. Uh, worldwide of Crosby for the Penguins. Oh yeah, I mean, I was like, that's why I was thinking like, it's it, like it very well could be laugh because like when he's in a case, he's normally like pretty hot in that case. So Yossi for the Predators. But hey, like it's still solid. Um, Honestly, like from a from an expansion draft standpoint, he might not be the worst target from San Jose for Vegas. So, speaking of or for for Seattle, speaking of Vegas and actually Dylan Coughlin, he scored a hat trick. That's uh, you know, I think he's only the third defenseman in NHL history to score a hat trick on the day he's got his first NHL goal, which is pretty pretty cool. Nice little piece of hockey history. I think we got one of the die cuts here. Yeah, we do. 
Uh, predominant gold. These are beautiful. Of Mark Stone for Vegas. Those are really, really nice cards. Nice thick cardstock. Uh, really nice background. Honestly, like really solid insert. So really good box. Good young guns. Um, clear cut very like I'd say I'd uh, probably average young guns I guess. Um, but like young gun clear cut. Uh, predominant gold. Solid top to bottom. Flurry for Vegas. Vegas just having three cards in a row here. Yeah, that last break with all the laughs was nuts. Uh, Bowers for the abs. Uh, oh, there's just a base stuck there. And a base stuck to the back of the young gun. There we go. Couple packs to go here. Another really solid box of Series 1. Uh, Morgan Riley canvas for the Leafs. And last pack. Looks like we got uh, an NHL Worldwide of Flurry for Vegas. Did Vegas have like half that box it seems like? Jeez, they, were, uh, they ran pretty hot there. Gabriel Sue, there you go. Nice little, probably like, honestly, probably like half of, or like at least a quarter of a box for you there. Then you just never know sometimes what teams are going to hit. Vegas has had a really good night overall, though. The Krebs Young Gun, I think they got something out of Artifacts. I mean, Coughlin's probably not the worst Young Gun they get right now either, so. There we go. But yeah. Another solid box. So here we go. Artifacts time. Let's see if we can make up for the missing hits in this box. An all hit box. We've had one before. This box got a little bit of a dim corner on it. So maybe this is where all the hits fell in, right? Now left side, right side. There we go. And that is 85. All right, let's start with the left side. I don't think we're gonna have a double hit box, so we will see. You never know sometimes. We got a purple. To 20, Matt Murray for the Penguins, numbered four of 20. Murray for the Penguins. That's probably one of the worst goalie contracts out there right now. Hopper coming up of Jari for the Penguins. Oh, you're getting the Penguins goalies here. I guess I can go back to full screen here. There we go. Uh, honestly, I think it's just two cards stuck together, but it looked like a jersey card at half glance. I think it's just the way the cards are stuck together. Yep. Uh, Jason Robertson for the Stars on the Copper Rookie to 299. Robertson for the Stars on the Copper Rookie to 299. And got a Ruby coming up of Hishier. Hishier for the Devils. Pulled his uh, Splendor Rookie patch auto in the cup. That was actually a really solid break. Uh, well, I hope this is like an auto parallel. Oh, it, it is. It's uh, going to need a checklist for it. All right, let's see what it is. Uh, Rookie Relic Redemption 2, gold jersey jersey. Uh, what is that one? Materials. I think that's Caprizol for the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, that's Caprizol for the Wild. So there you go, dual jersey jersey. I believe these are numbered out of three ninety nine. That is two. Uh, yep. Kaprizov is two on everything except for rookie autographs. So uh, let me just write that down here. Nice hit for Minnesota. Uh, let's go with the green sharpie. 
But yeah, solid one there. There we go. Ah, uh, wait, I just remember what it is uh, and who it's for. But nice one there. Kaprizov for the wild. Well, that's a good hit. All right, next up, probably an Orum. Yep, Kachuk for the Senators on the Orum. Just probably a regular Rookie Redemption. Uh, who's it going to be? Let's go with, go with Boston. Oh, it's Buffalo, off by one. Dylan Cousins, though, still solid. Still solid there. And last pack, let's see something. It's just a jersey card. But maybe it'll have an auto on it. We'll see. We'll find out. It's probably just going to be a jersey, though. Yep, Brock Nelson for the Islanders. On the dual jersey jersey, the 175. So not a, not a bad box. A um, couple low-numbered parallels. The dual jersey jersey is really nice. So, yeah, not bad. And again, Minnesota, kind of a team that, you know, Series 1, not the strongest in, but series, or Artifacts, you can get some pretty nice stuff. It's really funny, because, like, almost always you'd be so disappointed for, for having them, and then this year you're just like, no, I want the Wild. Ooh, we got the box flip again. Uh, I did a little bit of interning for them back in 2013. I want to say 2013. This is after my first year of university, so. But yeah, a while ago, I did a little bit of internship. It was a lot of fun. Learned a lot, learned how to excel better um, and just how stuff worked. But uh, Rask for the Bruins. Obviously, I was in a fortunate position to intern. Then the next year, I worked at golf course, and the year after. And, I mean, you still got to meet hockey players out there. Ryan Johansson came in his uh, Lambo, and, like, you knew it was him, and not everyone knew it was him. So it was one of those just, like, I know who you are. Uh, predominant for the Penguins, and then, like, a bunch of us in, uh, whatchamacallit, guest services are just like, okay, he's here. There's got to be a nice car in the parking lot. And sure enough, we went over and found it, so... Is it a Lambo? I think it's a Lambo. Um, but yeah. Uh, Di Pietro for the Canucks on the Young Guns. Yeah, kind of all my jobs have involved hockey players in some way, shape, or form. Uh, French variation of Gensel for the Penguins. Oh, nice. That's obviously pretty sick, uh, but yeah. Uh, Zuccarello Worldwide for the Wild. Uh, I don't know, depending on when you worked as PR with the Oilers, there's actually like some chance that we somehow crossed paths or have had similar emails because we had, I was at EA when we had McDavid as a cover athlete, so we did a lot of content with them, but O'Reilly for the Blues on the portraits. Which would be really funny. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the WHL. We used to have season tickets for the Giants um, when they were in Vancouver. And kind of once I moved and my brother moved, my parents kind of, the team started going downhill. And, you know, parents didn't renew their tickets, which is fine. Uh, for the Lightning, Kucherov. But yeah. Uh, they're back being really good. Obviously, no Byron's going to suck for them, but... I like Sertif a lot. Sertif's really good. So uh, they're actually closer now. Dry settle for the Oilers on the Dazzlers. Like they're they're a much closer drive for me now. I miss driving to the Pacific Coliseum and holding your breath through the tunnel um, on the way back home. <laughs> uh, Vanacek for the Capitals on the Young Guns. But yeah, they're a lot closer. They're actually like I don't know. 20, 30 minute drive, uh, probably 20 minutes from my apartment now. So. 
Corvette for the Canucks on the canvas. But yeah, uh, I was actually, honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if people go to Seattle for the games. If you can get tickets, they're not going to be cheap and they're going to be hard to get. Uh, Couture for the Sharks on the portraits. And the way the Canucks have been managed and, you know, kind of uh, the state of the team right now, like, I wouldn't be shocked to see people switching teams. I myself, I think I'm going to, I've already kind of declared myself a full-time Kraken fan at this point. So, Robertson for the Leafs. Uh, I like their jersey. I like their management group. So, uh, sh uh, sh uh, oh, I keep on the... Uh, Zashka? Sorry, I'm butchering that. Um, but yeah. Um, what we do with base cards is just kind of give them out to people who come in through the store. They get dropped off once the, the box is full. So, Robert Thomas for the Blues on the jerseys. I don't know why my brain just breaks when there's an S and a Z together. It's just, there's certain letters that my brain sees and it's just like, I cannot do anything with that. Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. Shashka, okay, that's that's better, <laughs> thanks. And I always like knowing how to pronounce your names and that's kind of, you know, something that I just like to get, get to know everyone in the breaks and stuff like that or people who come by and just watch. Reduke for Vegas because again, it's about you know the hobbies about having fun um, You know enjoying it in your way kind of meeting people connecting with people It's like it's been over a year since I've last been at a sports card show and kind of you know I, I miss the kind of community behind that so uh, a little chagrin for the Leafs I miss you know having to lug 200 pounds of hockey cards to a show, but um well, I, I'd say I miss it, but, you know. I was really happy. I made my own display and stuff. Suzuki for the Habs on the debut dates. But yeah, uh, it's been, been a while since one of those. Come on, base. There we go. Uh, Bertuzzi for the Red Wings on the canvas. Next year's rookie crop is going to be interesting. It'll be because uh, I, I have a feeling we'll see Zegras next year. Um, we'll probably have uh, well, used to Manko for the Flyers on the Young Guns. Um, I'd like to say we'd have Byfield, hopefully Drysdale as well. Um, but kind of depends on who debuts, when they debut, when the season starts. So. Got another, uh, ooh, nice rookie retrospective jersey for the Buffalo Sabres of Victor Olofsson. These are nice. I uh, haven't seen one of these yet. Love the gold foiling with the jersey. That's a nice hit. We'll uh, put that in the artifacts pile. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave it now. I like it. It's a nice hit. Probably one in 576 packs if I were to just guess off the top of my head because that's normally what the jerseys end up being. Printed to, excuse me. A few packs to go here. But yeah, uh, Series 2 is going to be fun. That's probably going to be in a couple weeks. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to getting the Hoaglanders. Uh, dry Settle for the Oilers on the portraits. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Easter egg cards are in there too. Yeah, whenever I go to Seattle, we normally stay in like the... Tequila area. Um, I forget what mall it's by, but uh, normally stay out there just because it's cheaper. Uh, Lindstrom for the Red Wings. I know I always try to go to a Blue Jays game um, or at least some sort of baseball game. So, but yeah, we normally stay pretty far out. So, Shesterkin for the Rangers on the canvas. And a last pack of the box overall. Yeah, solid couple good young guns, two jersey cards, and not the worst box. Not the strongest, but not the worst, and that's kind of fine. McKinnon for the abs on the NHL Worldwide. So, get the 
base cards tucked away here. But yeah, uh, we're pretty full on the uh, on the base side of things here. So. Artifacts time. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, see if we can get a good old all hit box. That would be really nice to see. But so far, pretty solid artifacts. Like in not having hits in the one box, kind of stunk, but. Hey, sometimes it happens. Well, left side's a hit. So if the right side's a hit, I think we have an all hit box. So maybe we are actually gonna be good. Well, let's go, let's go right side. Uh, McKinnon for the abs on the Orem. So maybe we're gonna be okay. Cause right now we're technically minus a rookie redemption and then kind of two hits. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. A base series one curve. Okay. I will keep an eye out for the Capitals rookie redemption. Um, I know, I know I, there's, oops, sorry, bump the camera. Hey, I bumped the camera and it didn't fall over. That's a, uh, that's a new improvement. <laughs> that's the first real test. I got a new mount for the camera. So we got a Stars jersey of Wheeler to 145 for the Winnipeg Jets. Ooh, we got a patch. We're saving that. All right. So we have an all hit box. So I'm just going to grab that box and cross it out again because... It is made up for Geeky, actually, on the Rookie Aurum. Those are definitely tougher to hit. So, nice one for Carolina. Let me just, uh, we'll finish the box and I'll grab it and cross it out. So, this should be a Rookie Redemption. We should have two more hits. Yep. Avalanche on the Rookie Redemption. I want to say... Francus? No, Bowers. They did Bowers. Okay. That's, that makes sense. And Holtby Jersey for the Capitals on the Remnants. And double patch box. All right. So we went from not having anything, like having a box without hits to having a double patch box. Ooh, and it's purple, which means it's gonna be special. Nice, patch, patch for the Devils, Nico Hichier, 215. Nice three color patch on both. That's a really nice card. We've been hitting him pretty well. Uh, corners are a little soft, obviously, but yeah, solid, solid pull there. Means I'm gonna need the 180s that I got that are. I don't know where I put them. Um, hang on, I need to go grab a thing of 180s in this. Oh, they're right here. You know, oh, no, they're right, they're literally right beside me. I just missed them. All right. And one more patch here. So, uh, I mean, I wanna see a patch auto. That, that's really what I wanna see. Emerald can be a patch auto, but probably just dual patch or patch and jersey of Seth Jones for Columbus to 65. On the emerald patch jersey for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, yep, uh, that box of artifacts more than made up for the uh, missing hits one. Let me grab that box and go cross it off so I don't get confused with the other one. Oh. All right. Uh, extra at 
All right. So I can just get rid of that box now. But. All right. Sorry about that. On to series one again. Just want to make sure I have my notes in uh, in an order for stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, when you, whenever you get the hits made up for in another box, like it's clear that there's just an issue between those two boxes, and that's like that's fine. Um, it balanced out. Like literally, you take half of that box and then half of this box and like swap them, and you've literally got a full box. So that is why we just check that to make sure. Piles are getting a little crooked there. There we go. Uh, there's Neander, a uh, French variation of point for the lightning. Point for the lightning on the French variation. So yeah, been a solid break. Now at three patches from artifacts. I mean, we went from like Artifacts not delivering to delivering pretty solidly in a single box. Uh, Seth Jones for the Blue Jackets on the predominant. Uh, Patrick Kane on the canvas for Chicago. Base on the rest. Young Guns coming up here. Uh, Alexander Alexiev for the Capitals. The other uh, one that'll throw you off of laugh when you first see the Alex. Next up, Max Domi for the Habs. And if you hear any meowing in the background, it's my cat wanting attention. She's probably hungry, but she has food out for her, so she is spoiled. Uh, Cody Glass on the debut dates for Vegas. Uh, that was Kerfoot. Okay. I'll keep an eye out as we go through the base here. Uh, Pasternak on the worldwide for the Bruins. No Kerfoot there. Uh, no Kerfoot there. Dazzlers of Suzuki for the Habs. Honestly, like just building sets is a lot of fun. And so I I remember at the show, you know, there was a kid who always come along and I uh, was trying to build young gun sets and stuff like that and always liked helping them out because you know, it, it's fun to do. Uh, for the Sabres, uh, Jonas Johansson on the Young Guns. Mark, I think. That pack shredded. But yeah. Uh, David Piranha, upside. Are all his base cards upside down? Eichel for the Sabres on the portraits. Uh, generally speaking, the base cards go in like clumps so I think this is a similar clump to last box and if if you see one and I miss it at any point just let me know uh, nothing there there we go there's a good young gun for the avalanche Bowen Byram honestly I think he's still slept on I think he's still slept on he'll always be overshadowed by Makar well like generally overshadowed by Makar however he is very very good so Uh, Bailey for the Islanders on the canvas. No Kerfoot there. Uh, Ottinger for the Stars on the Young Guns. Nice. Oh yeah, I guess Parkers came out. That's kind of one that I don't pay much attention to because it's not a hobby format so 
And it, I think it's good that Upper Deck has retail only products too. So Tatar for the halves and the predominant, like especially entry level sets like Parkhurst, like MVP, OPG. Those are all really good sets to have. Uh, especially for people getting into the hobby and like they still stay cheap, which is nice. Uh, Horvat for the Canucks on the jersey. And, you know, just letting people collect, um, especially, you know, younger kids uh, collect, get into the hobby. I mean, I think we all, like, for the most part, a lot of people got in when they were young. So, Flurry for Vegas. Oh, for sure. Uh, I. I uh, really, <laughs> it's really funny because I think I was missing in my Young Gun set. Um, oh, I forget who it was. It was someone like, I think it was Zamula is who I was missing. Uh, Fox for the Rangers on the rookie retrospective. And it's like, really? I mean, I got two laughs, so I'm happy in a Byron Clear cut in that case. But it's like, it's like one of the random ones what we got. I think just a young gun canvas coming up here. Yeah, Alexiev for the Capitals. Oh, Rasmus Dahlin. I hope he gets out of Buffalo or Buffalo changes their coach because him from his rookie year to now is just a totally different player. We got a pink Dazzlers here of Stamkos for the Lightning. And base on the rest. I think one year I was legitimately missing the checklist, like the base checklist for the set. <laughs> and it's like, wow, that's kind of ironic. Uh, Alexander True, well, there we go. Uh, Ryan, I think you're one step closer to that Alexander True uh, rainbow there. Just need what his um, exclusives and high gloss and cam. I don't think he has a canvas, so. Uh, Tatar for the Habs on the Worldwide. And two packs to go here. But yeah, I'll just rip through the base quickly and try to find a curve for it after the, um, after the break. So if we don't pull one during it. Uh, Domi for the Habs on the Portraits. Yeah, I, Ralph Kruger, I was really, really like high on him but just like his treatment of jeff skinner and stuff like that like he's just gone from someone who i was really excited about to an instant no hire uh kurashev for the blackhawks on the young guns not a bad one like just you know not utilizing players to their strengths trying to get them to play a two-way game is like i get it but at the same time like you gotta play players to their strengths well there's the kerfoot so there's the base i will uh Get that set aside here. Uh, patch ready for Vegas on the canvas. Hey, last pack, <laughs> the box. All right. Go figure, eh? It would have been even ho more hilarious if it was the last pack of the entire break, but. We've almost got like one of the super, super monster 5,000 count. That's a pack of top rollers on my toes. We've almost got a uh, super monster pretty much of series one base. So uh, that's like 5,000 cards, I think, is what the count is on them, if not more. So we got a lot of it. All right, here we go. Artifacts time. It's been hot. It, well, it's been cold. It's been hot. Let's end on, I, again, I want to see some sort of ink, like a, and not like an auto fax, but like a nice like jersey auto or like um, base black auto or like just something sick. Something that makes you go, yeah, we just got that card. So here we go. Uh, let's start with the left side. That's probably going to be the hit side. No, it's not. At least, it, I mean, it still could be, but we got an orange. Of uh, Darlene for the Sabres to 75. Darlene for the Sabres on the orange to 75. The camera again. There we go. 
copper of Joel Thorium for the Sharks to $2.99. Got a rookie coming up here. Uh, Mikey Anderson for the, I think that one's, yeah, that one's really miscut. Um, like, really miscut. For the uh, for the Kings here, we'll get a, uh, just a card comparison. It's just got a nice little uh, V on it. So whoever had LA, I think you might have had both of them major miscut ones, but. Just as a heads up. And we got a retired copper of Zetterberg to 299 for Detroit. All right, let's get a big hit, come on. Get like a fight strap or a tag. And I'll ask him for, okay, that is asking for a lot, but I think we pulled this early in the last artifacts break uh, against the Lord Stanley Relics. I think we actually did. Huh. Those are tougher to hit, so. Yeah. Ooh, we got a black base coming up here. These are to five. Oh, nice for the Minnesota Wild. Black base auto number five of five of Eric Stahl. Hey, who had Minnesota cleaning up this break? I think Ken did because he had them. So there we go. Nice little five of five Eric Stahl there. I'm just going to get a different sleeve. That one's got a soft corner on the sleeve. Now, which means I have to open up the new pack here. One second. There we go. I love these parallels. They're really nice. Although, when you see stars, like, your mind starts racing to who it could be because there are some very good names on the green background. But Eric Stahl is still solid. So really nice auto. Uh, again, really rare card. Hey, I got my wish. I got my wish. I'm not going to complain about this box. So actually, artifacts ended up being pretty solid. Uh, let's go with the... Who's going to be the rookie redemption? Uh, let's go Anaheim. Nope, Philadelphia. All right. Uh, Philadelphia is Zamula, I believe. Yep, it's Zamula. And finishing off artifacts is an Ekman Larson jersey for the Yotes. My cat can hear me, and she is not happy. She's got her special blanket though, that when she, she's normally a little bit quieter before she used to scratch at the door, which was very annoying and loud, but um, yeah, she uh, has her special little blanket that she sits outside on and is normally fairly quiet. She'll meow sometimes to let me know that she's there and she's wants attention and she gets lots of attention. Some would say too much, but she also had a rough day with the fire alarm test, and so ended up just dropping her off at a little daycare, aka taking her in my car and going for a little bit of a drive. So, because like that noise has got to be really hard on their ears. So here we go, last box. Let's get something sick here. Uh, Spashnaho for the Hurricanes on the predominant. Duchesne on the canvas for Nashville. I think this ends up being like, again, Minnesota probably honestly has one of the strongest breaks out of all the teams in here. And you just never know who's going to hit sometimes. Uh, Baudin for the Chicago Blackhawks on the Young Guns. Chicago's got a lot of rookies this year. They've got, I think, nine Young Guns at least. Which is just crazy. And it means like all rookie products this year, they're going to be a really good team just because of quantity. Uh, French variation of Connect Me for the Flyers. Mm 
We had a nice little Eric Stahl auto out of five. Um, we hit the Caprizov rookie redemption. I mean, the true clear cut and French variation are both solid as well. Vasilevsky for the lightning on the portraits. So overall, really, really solid break top to bottom. Series one, uh, no laugh young guns, which kind of, you know, you'd hope to get, but given that this is the other half of the case, uh, it makes sense that we didn't get some. Matthews for the Leafs. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're getting good goaltending, and that's really what matters. So, uh, Jake Evans for the Habs. And apologies if you can hear the cat meowing in the background. She's just worried. Uh, Makar for the Avs on the portraits. And Logergrim for the Leafs. Yeah, I the Murray the Murray trade like okay fine gamble his numbers aren't great, but the contract was just like you're betting on him being elite, and like I don't know if you really would have taken that bet. Vasilevsky for the lane not elite but like top end at least, and like he's legitimately been one of the worst goalies so like just ignoring contract he's just been not good and that is not very good to have 6.25 mil on a cap hit for four years on a player like that malcolm for the penguins on the nhl of life yeah i mean markstrom and binnington are both like i'll always bug over Bennington because of his playoffs um, last year, but Carlson for the Capitals on the Dazzlers. I like. I worry about the length of that contract because six years is a lot scarier. Same with Markstrom. Like the saving grace for the Senators is that that's only a four-year deal. It could have been worse. Uh, Jack Hughes for the Devils on the rookie retrospective. And honestly, Murray's making an interesting... And, like, those contracts are making an interesting case for Demko. Because, like, he's playing lights out. And that contract's going to get more expensive with each start right now. So, uh, Jersey card of Gaudreau for the Calgary Flames. I had a lot of jerseys out of Series 1. So, for the most part, these Series 1 jerseys would probably just be in with other inserts and stuff in 130s or 180s. Cause Running a little bit low on 100 point top loaders, but Norris rookie portraits for the Senators. Come on, let's get something massive here. Still, we still got. I still feel like we are do one big big hit. Uh, Fox for the Rangers on the debut dates. Jem, I know you're there. You're okay. We got a young gun canvas coming up. Who's it gonna be? Ah, uh, Victor Soderstrom for the Yotes on the young gun canvas. So yeah, overall pretty solid top to bottom. Um, ours, you know, wish we got maybe one one laugh would be nice in the close here, but Ingram for the Predators. Uh, a few packs to go here. Yeah, just so yeah, uh, no randoms to do. I don't think unless we hit no with a checklist, but uh, we're good. So no randoms to do. JVR for the Flyers on the canvas. Um, breaks for next week will probably go up around same as time Monday. Um, fairly similar to this week, I would say. Uh, I think Prism Basketball is coming back. So uh, Soderstrom for the Coyotes on the young guns uh and then we'll have some uh yeah mosaic basketball on thursday um i think it's mixer with the cup on friday and mixer with chronology on wednesdays kind of the initial plans 
We got an exclusives for the Ducks of Gibson, numbered, I think that's the end, numbered 69 out of 100. Nice pull there for the Ducks. And a few packs to go. It would be nicer to get a Young Gun exclusives. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. We just get a high gloss in these last few packs, right? Uh, Kachuk for the Flames on the predominant. Two packs to go here. Do a quick little recap at the end. Uh, Portraits of Dubois for the Blue Jackets. And the last pack here again, thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, fairly solid break top to bottom. Three patches, auto out of five from Artifacts. Uh, some decent young guns, so not much to be upset about. And hey, Tyler Benson for the Oilers on the young guns to finish things off. So. Uh, yeah, overall pretty solid. I'm just going to put the base away, then we'll do a quick little recap. Um, but really solid break top to bottom. Again, Minnesota crushed it. I think they only hit, well, I guess they hit some inserts and stuff. But uh, yeah, let me get the base put away here. All right. Let's, uh, let's see what the recap has in store for us. Let's kind of go top to bottom through this. So uh, that's probably one of our better hits. That's one of our better hits. That's one of our better hits. Uh, these can probably go there. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. Uh, this goes there. This goes there. This goes there. Something like that. Okay. So just a quick little recap again. Uh, thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, Ryan O'Reilly base variation, Teddy Bluger autograph, uh, Alex True French variation and clear cut young guns, uh, rookie retrospective jersey of Olofsson, predominant gold of Mark Stone, got that Bowen Byram young gun, uh, Seth Jones on the patch to 65 from Artifacts, quick to 65 from Artifacts, uh, and honestly top three hits are all pretty, I'd say pretty equal. Um, Relic Jersey Jersey for the uh, Wild. Uh, that's uh, Caprizov, so that's a really good one to get. Uh, Hishier on the Patch Patch to 15. And then I, I call this the hit of the break. 5 and 5 auto of a future Hall of Famer in Eric Stahl. Like, you, you can't go wrong with that. So, uh, anyways, thank you all for coming out. Fun break, and looking forward to next week. And then, yeah, I think two weeks from now will be a group break 100. So, uh, yeah, take care, and I will see you next week.